Hallelujah, hallelujah. Angels are here worshiping you. Saints and martyrs are here adoring you. Oh God, together with the whole of heaven and all men and women of goodwill all over the world, we praise you. We thank you, oh God. We worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For your infinite glory, the glory of your mercy, you are present here with us, O God. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. 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 Pra
praise you, praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, we bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We believe. My dear sisters and brothers, on this beautiful feast day, the feast of divine mercy, we have gathered around the Eucharistic Lord, the Lord of mercy. This feast, this feast is the celebration of the mercy of God. Mercy is not one of the many characteristics of God. No. Mercy is the very nature of God. To Sister Faustina, the Lord revealed, my name is Mercy. That's how I want to be known by everyone. Mercy. Let us open our hearts today, being in the presence of our God. Let's open our hearts to understand this great mystery. Because we do not understand the nature of God, we make our lives often very unfortunate and miserable. Whenever anything goes wrong with our life, whenever sickness or accidents or unfortunate things happen to us, we seem to interpret it all as the punishment of God. God punishing us. Indeed, it's not a punishing God whom Jesus came to reveal to us. No. He came to reveal to us the God of mercy. We often misunderstand that title of God given in the Bible. The righteousness of God. By righteousness we mean justice. And that justice we interpret in human terms. In human terms, justice is giving everyone his, her due. And we know how sinful we are. We know we have offended God by a evil in our hearts. And therefore, behind our mind, there is the conviction. Because I am sinful, I need to be punished for my sin. And everything wrong happening to us, we interpret as a punishment, as a curse of God. And because of this, we are afraid of God. And slowly, fear becomes indifference. We become indifferent towards God. We don't experience the great delight of being with the Lord. God is mercy. And that means undeserving love. That's what God is. Giving us undeserved love. In fact, the way we interpret love We mean a certain reciprocity. I love you as you love me. And interpreting love in such terms, we turn away from God, imagining we don't deserve to be loved by God because of our unworthiness. God is mercy. Undeserved love, that's the nature of God, is the good shepherd coming in search of the strayed, wounded sheep. And he does it all the time. And today, as we are gathered 
around the Eucharistic Lord. We are in different places and situations. But space does not separate us because we are in the ambient of love, of mercy. The Lord draws every one of us into his merciful heart. And let us begin contemplating the infinite mystery of God's mercy. You expired Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us. I, I trust, trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us. I, I trust, trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived, conceived by the power of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As God is revealed in the Bible, His nature has always been mercy. Giving undeserved love everywhere. There is the revelation in the beginning of human history. We find the Bible opening with God carefully and lovingly preparing our home for the human race, the paradise. And God created man and woman and united them in the bond of matrimony. And man opted to rebel against God. Reject God and he reached out before Satan for the paradise offered by Satan. And soon man realized he's naked. He's ashamed of himself. He lost his identity. I lost my life. In the shame of emptiness, man was hiding behind the tree. And God came calling. God came calling as on the previous day. God is the same every day. He came calling Adam, where are you? Well, man refused to come out of the shame 
of emptiness and sin. Man lost everything. The earth was cursed. And human relationship was strained. And man distanced himself from God. At that moment, God promised a savior to take the humankind out of the curse of sin. The seed of the woman will crush the head of Satan. The promise. Man and woman will be saved, giving us a great hope that our sin will not destroy us. Today, as we pray this first decade, we want to claim that promise of the Lord, promise of the Savior, however sinful we are. However many times we have reached out to Satan, we may have gone the way of evil. And because of that, a lot of destruction has come to us. In spite of that, God is promising the Savior to take us out of the mess of evil, contemplating that great mercy revealed in the beginning of the humankind. Let us pray. Eternal Father, I offer you i 
to me according to your word according to your promises i can stand secure come upon my heart the truth that sets me free according to your word O oh lord be it unto me Your blood will deliver, Lord. We believe it's true. You promised His joy like a river, Lord. We receive it from here. These things. You have spoken who bring it to pass this world's disappearing, but your word will last so be it unto me according to your word, according to your promises. Can stand secure, come upon my heart, the truth that sets me free, according to your word, O oh Lord, be it unto me. You promise to carry your sorrows, Lord, we believe. It's true. You promised a sun ending tomorrow. Lord, we receive it from here. You'll be a provider in your word. It's true. We, but by the stripes you bore. Stand secure, come upon my heart, upon my the heart. truth that sets me free, according to your word, O oh Lord, be it unto me. To everyone languishing in shame, shame of sin, to everyone afraid of the future, to everyone a problem in the family and therefore find life distressing this message is coming to you coming to everyone David Agonel Sita Joy Mercia this message coming to you from the prophecy of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 13 for I am the Lord your God who grasp your right hand it's I who said to you fear not I will help you hallelujah hallelujah thank you praise you Lord Jesus in security in security and safety hallelujah Lord we will live in your presence experiencing your mercy at every moment praise you Jesus thank you Lord hallelujah 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 praise you Jesus thank you Lord praise you Jesus after having promised a savior, God chose a nation as his own, the Israelites. They were slaves in Egypt. With a mighty arm, God came down upon the rulers of Egypt to set his people free. Israelites were slaves and all the shame of it. The whole nation 
in slavery, crushed, beaten up. But they got a new identity. God considering them as his own people. And God worked wonders, taking them out of that land of torture to a land of freedom and salvation. He cut the sea into two for his people to walk in dry land. When they were hungry, he fed them with manna. When they were thirsty, water came gushing out of the rock. A God concerned by night, he was with his people in a column of fire by day in clouds to save them from the scorching heat of the sun. God who cares. God of mercy. My brother, my sister, whatever troubles you are going through, whatever obstacles you and I are in, we have a God of mercy, God of compassion, God who cares for every one of us. And let's believe in that great mercy and pray this decade. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy, mercy on us and on all the world. world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on all the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on all the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on all the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on all the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on all the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on all the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a savior, the hope of a nation. And savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. Mighty to he save. He is mighty to save. Of the rough salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. So take me as you find me, all my fears and failures, and fill my life again. I give my life to follow everything I believe in. Now I surrender. And Savior, He can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Thank you. 
Jesus. You're mighty to save. Thank you, Jesus. You're mighty to save, for Lord. Glory to Jesus. We praise you. Your might of salvation is mightier than all the powers of evil. It is in you that we trust, O God. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you. Praise you. Thank you. Bless you, Jesus. Jesus. Divi, the Lord is touching you. Nisha, you, the Jesus. power of God's compassion is taking you out of every trouble. John, Lester, Jane, Walter, experience the hand of the Lord, hand of the Lord soothing you, comforting you, comforting. The Lord is close to you. The message given to us, Psalm 34, 19, the Lord is close to the broken hearted. He saves those whose spirit is crushed. Thank you, Lord, for your revelation. You will save those whose spirit is crushed. Here, Lord, looking into your eyes, your children are waiting to experience the fulfillment of that promise. Those crushed in spirit, you will not abandon them. The broken hearted, you are close to them. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. God sent his prophets to prepare his people for the coming of the Savior, the Messiah. And finally, he sent his own son as the Messiah, as the Savior, with this commission. No one shall be lost. John 3.16 Jesus expressed eloquently that commission given to him by his father. The father so loved the world that he sent his only son that no one who believes in him might be lost. The Lord has taken upon himself this charge that no one will be lost. My brother, my sister, do you imagine you are lost in your sickness? Do you imagine you are lost in your strain of your family relationships? Do you imagine your financial problems are crushing you? Whatever obstacles, whatever problems, whatever heartache, turn to the Lord. The Lord sees you. The Lord remembers the commission He has from the Father. No one who turns to you shall be lost. Everyone is turning to you, O Lord. Let them, let them not be lost. Eternal Father, I offer you the body Of the 
into your eyes everyone feeling the comforting presence of yours you're giving this message Psalm 56 8 I have noted your afflictions I have collected your tears in my heart look to Jesus there were moments we lamented we complained the Lord does not care the Lord does not answer my prayers the Lord is busy collecting your tears, noting your afflictions, turning everything to your good. Maria, Nisha, Prasad, Jean, look at Jesus. Look at Jesus and, and find your comfort in Him. 
He's there for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In this fourth decade, we contemplate the public ministry of Jesus, a ministry of mercy. And he said, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. He went about mercifully caring for the sick, for the hungry, for the brokenhearted, for the downtrodden, for the marginalized, for the ostracized, the lepers, the prostitutes, the people in distress. They could come to him at every moment. The Lord has been revealing for all times whom does he care for. He cares for those having nothing of their own. The poor who turn to him in faith. Lord, we turn to you. We would experience your mercy in our sickness, in our afflictions, in our troubles and struggles. We want to experience your mercy flowing down and filling us. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Once 
overclose like springs of life awake my broken bones let a song arise from lips that once were close like springs of life awake my broken bones and making me a clean heart long renew my spirit restore my soul I need the joy of salvation Making me a clean heart long Oh, bring your presence and give me hope I need the joy of salvation Praise you, Lord Jesus The joy of your salvation the Praise joy you of Jesus. your salvation you, Jesus. you offer to Thank everyone you, now, you, everyone who believes in you, Jesus, Jesus. everyone who Thank turns you, to you, you Jesus, with Jesus. faith in the heart, yeah. the joy of salvation. The Lord is proclaiming, when I am lifted up, I will draw all to myself. The Lord is lifted up. The merciful Eucharistic Lord is lifted up on our altar in the Holy Eucharist. He's drawing all the sick, all those suffering from the coronavirus pandemic, all the doctors, nurses, medical personnel. He is drawing all those in charge of the wards and projects and plans of the government. The Lord is drawing everyone, all the volunteers, everyone, the Lord is drawing them into himself with the promise, the promise being given to them that I am the good shepherd. I will go in search of the wounded sheep. The Lord is coming to the side of everyone sick, drawing you, my brother, my sister, all the suffering from cancer, all the suffering from any ailment of the body, mental depression, all those languishing in the strain of family relationships, all those languishing in the shame of and guilt of sin and the, the addictions to evil. The Lord is drawing everyone to himself with his promise, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17, I will restore you to health of your wounds. I will heal you, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, Lord, mighty Savior. Mighty Savior. We praise you, Lord Jesus, we thank you. We adore you, O God, we adore you. Praise you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Karen. Kyle, Joel, Craig, William, the Lord's power is surrounding you. Leave your life in the hands of the Lord. He's there. He's there, drawing you close to Himself. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. In this final decade, we want to contemplate that moment of the summit of the revelation of God's mercy, Calvary. Son of God, condemned, despised, and crucified, and yet, Son of God on the cross praying for us that we may be forgiven, that we may be saved, offering all our wounds together with his own wounds to the Heavenly Father. Today, when the Heavenly Father sees our wounds, he remembers the wounds of his own son, Jesus. And the power of healing flows into us. The joy of salvation. And he offered his heart to be pierced. Blood and water flowed out. 
blood and water flowed out let souls stand up those of you who can you may kneel down let that drop of blood the drop of water flowing down from the heart of jesus fall upon us to bathe us to bathe us in mercy an experience that the lord invited thomas to put your finger into my wound of my heart let's reach out to him reach out to him open our hearts to him open our wounds to him our troubles and our anxieties to him all our sickness to him all our struggles to him and wait for the holy spirit the holy spirit of love to flow into our hearts eternal father i am the body Yeah. 
to himself every broken family to himself experience the anointing of the holy spirit the holy spirit coming upon the worship in community the spirit of god descending upon us let us praise him and worship him let us adore him and surrender our life to him hallelujah hallelujah Power descending. It's the moment the sick are being healed, the afflicted are being comforted, everyone experiencing the mercy of God, the Holy Spirit, the water, blood and water falling upon us, bathing us in His mercy. Praise you, Jesus. We praise you. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you. Let us receive the blessing of the Lord. Tanta maga sacramento Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation won for us at the peace of the kingdom. 
where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O 